one out. <laughs> she could not care less about me right now. Yo, emotional support companion, where you at? <laughs> Yeah. I'm Lala Kent. I am known for a show called Vanderpump Rules, and I also do music. Did you guys all fight and specifically for the meeting? Uh huh. Yes. Wow. Today, watching from the other room is my mom, Lisa, my oldest brother, Brandon, and my younger brother, Easton. Hello. Lala, oh, pleasure to meet you. you. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, of course. I believe in everything that Tyler brings to the table, so I'm gonna have you right here. Yeah. I'm ready to sit down and take some deep breaths and dive into it. My mom is a huge fan. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. Is it Housewives of Beverly Hills or is it OC? Uh, Vanderpump. Vanderpump. Rules. Oh my God, that's yes. so embarrassing. My mom loves you. No, though. Like, don't be embarrassed. The mamas love Vanderpump yes. Rules. She loves it. So she always. <laughs> I've heard your name, Lala. Obviously, it's unforgettable. Wonderful to meet with you. Today, something that I've been looking forward to. Gotcha. And very much needed. Now, when I do a reading, my goal is to just get specific information, details. I just kind of start meditating and, and start getting impressions. Perfect. And we'll see where it leads. The reality is, is when I deliver a message, it's a group effort. Not only do I have my loved ones on my side coming through, but I also have my spirit guides and also the client's loved ones trying to communicate information. So we use anybody that can come through to deliver a message. So before we start, I know you have some objects there, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even gonna quite touch them yet. How do, how do you how do you go about asking yeah. a question? Uh, well, we could like kind of pick a general area. Um, so usually like family, health, love, and career. Babies. Absolutely. That. For sure. So I'm just gonna give it one sec, and we'll see what happens. That that okay. Gotcha. That's interesting. Uh, I saw a three, and you don't strike me as someone who would have three children. It just is like, when I look at you intuitively, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing, because it feels like non-traditional. It's like, I'm not seeing you birthing three children, but I'm seeing one, one at least. Yeah. So, biologically. But perfect. Yeah, you so. want to know what's so crazy? Can tell I me. tell you this? Tell me. The person I'm with right now, he has two girls that I basically love like they're my own, so that would make so much sense right. that you say three. I definitely feel like there's so much you could give a child and, and have so much to provide. So again, I feel like that'd be great. And we feel the same way. She's like so maternal, mm. so maternal. And then like the two to three year mark, I kind of like, like okay. starting to think about it. That's what I've spoken about with my boyfriend multiple times that we want to wait that amount of time. So for Tyler to say it, it kind of just gives the stamp of approval. Like, okay, there is no rush. I'm on the right path. Um, they are having me hold on to that watch, so we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um. I have had a great loss in my life that happened within a matter of months ago, and, um, yeah. I just need... It makes me angry that I don't have him anymore. I just need to feel a connection. So they're bringing me to a discussion about the very end of someone's life. And they're bringing me in the context of this man that I feel like I have to bring up and really connected to watch. When he comes through, he, for some reason, is having me acknowledge, like, expecting to have more time. I'm not super young when I die, but I'm not super old when I die either. And so there's this kind of feeling of being a little bit kind of closer to the middle, basically like, uh, I wasn't ready to go, shouldn't have gone when I went. I mean, the timing of this just keeps bringing up the timing and like not being convenient, not that there's ever a convenient time. But when this comes through, he, he basically just kind of acknowledges he wasn't able to say everything he wanted to say to yeah. the people he wanted to say it to. Can you relate to anybody passing away closer to that time frame or went yeah, kind of before his time? I'm so sorry. I used to buy my dad nice watches all the time, and that was the only thing he would ever wear. I think he went and got it at Walmart, and he wore it every single day. 
and he loved it. That's what I look at, and I'm like, oh, it's my dad. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, they're bringing up. They're bringing up dad. Hmm. It basically feels as it's coming in that he's trying to kind of comfort okay. the living people left behind in this. So yeah. that's good to keep in mind. That is so your dad. They're having me talk about the three. Give me one sec. Yeah, they're having me talk about a reference of three siblings. So do you know where the three siblings would be within family? Me and my two brothers. Nice. So the way that they're bringing this up, this is something you might have to actually check with brother situation, because they're having me talk about the two boys. They're having me talk about having plans with one of them. They're having me talk about, it's like a mutual understanding, but this just keeps coming through in more of a business way. One sec. Um, e, e, e. Keep in mind they are referencing to an E name within family. I can't tell who this is, but I'm saying just like an E. Do you have any E names within the family? My little brother, Easton. Nice. Dad's putting a very strong emphasis on him. Yeah, I, my dad was in real estate development and wanted to kind of bring my younger brother into that with him. You know, every little business venture that my dad would kind of step into in his older age, right. he always wanted Easton to be a part of it in some capacity. Sure. Yeah. I think he's just proud of, of him and wants him to keep that going and keep yeah. the entrepreneurial spirit and the investments. Totally. And I think um, he'll even kind of be there for your brother intuitively, like helping him know what to do and like guiding him. So tell him that. And, like, I will. Let him know. I want you to look into this. He's having me bring up a very specific situation where he's separating another person. He's showing me like, like tying up loose ends. Basically, he did not get to tie up loose ends. For some reason, they're bringing up like the separate relationship situation, and he's very strongly putting an emphasis on older brother and wanting to acknowledge that dynamic of how he feels about his relationship with him. It's kind of weird because it feels like with younger brother, it's like totally different dynamic than older brother. The way I would say it is it almost feels like they would have different definitions of dad in some way. Your dad kind of prioritizes the younger brother aspect. And then the older brother aspect feels like it kind of either got it didn't get the attention it needed in some way, and that kind of keeps coming through. Yeah, me and my younger brother have the same mom. And my older brother's mom and my dad split up when he was so young right. that I would say it sounds so terrible, but my dad was more involved in sure. mine and my younger brother's lives. Right. Um, okay. It basically feels as it's coming in that he just acknowledges wishing that he kind of kind of could have tied those loose ends at the very end yeah. in, in certain ways, and it just doesn't feel for some reason that he was able to. Um, it's important, I think, in the way this comes through, just to validate that brother, to say that there was still love there, and oftentimes it's their way of almost taking accountability for maybe what they didn't see in life. When it comes through, the message there is that if he could do it over, he would have showed a little bit more love to brother and would have made that clear. Yeah. He doesn't want your older brother to feel left out. <laughs> There's, he's just emphasizing him. He's basically, I'm saying like lassoing him in, which is always a way of trying to say like, we want to include this person. We want to bring them up because they need to feel validated. Can and I grab a tissue? Absolutely. to talk about mom. <laughs> he really just emphasizes your mom moving on, wanting your mom to move on. Like he Don't keeps, say that. I know, right? He keeps coming through, like wanting her to be able to move on. The way this kind of comes through, he's like doing this, and when they do that, it's always a way of saying trying to orchestrate a meeting with someone. So as weird as it sounds, like if she ends up big with someone else, he's kind of bringing up like helping them connect because there's still the feeling of like she needs love. And yeah. I feel like she's gonna get it. Uh, and he would want her to continue having happiness. It's important. She lost her life partner. I can't even imagine just losing someone you've been with from the age of 18. And so for her to hear that my dad is like, I'm good, she needed that to me. 
Um, my dad's Kent, and um, he was just kind, you know? He was truly an angel on this earth. Never judged anyone. Yeah. Never spoke badly about anybody. The reading, it wasn't much about me, and I know why. He and I were just right. like this. I never felt like anything went unspoken. I never felt like we went a minute without not being on the same page. Right. So for me, this was more about like I needed to make sure that my family was good, yeah. you know? And he knew that, and that's yeah. why he brought that forward today. And when he comes through, he's so much more focused on everybody else and that making sure. That sounds they're... so like him. Yeah, the questions are answered on my end. Good. Thank Fabulous. you so much. Of course. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you. I'm so glad they were here today. You're this is my so older brother, you. Brandon. Oh, of course. I hope that today you guys got some comfort. And it sounds like the message were very no, kind of yeah. different for both of you. Yeah. Awesome. Did, you, did that bring you any sort of comfort? Yeah. yeah. There was a touch there that was uh, pretty good to hear, to be honest. Just with our past situation and stuff like that, a little bit of it was uh, of course. pretty good. Good. So, that was good. I'm so yeah. glad. Thank you. Well, we appreciate yeah. you so much. You brought much. so much oh, to our family you. today, so thank you. So, of course, a lot. So good to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Oh. Thank well, I'm you. I'm always here if you need me, all right? Thank you, my love. Okay. Have a great day. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I feel very calm now, knowing that my dad is focused on what our family needs. It just that brought so much comfort to my heart. How do you feel? I feel that was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. okay. yeah. I would get angry about a lot of things. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but I'm not angry anymore. These are my babies. <laughs> my babies. Oh.